You're watching NFL Breaking News with Andrew. Week 6 has come and gone. With it, there have been injuries, a major one to Pittsburgh, and then the Patriots have suspended a player. We'll get all right into it. Um, all the things you need to know from Week 6 and the top headlines, we'll get right into it. So the first headline that I would like to talk about today is stiff onto it from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He got injured last week against the Chargers on Sunday Night Football. So the Steelers had to place him on injury reserve. It turns out it is a full tear of the pectoral um, muscle and he will be out for the remainder of the 2019 season. It is about a six month plus injury. Um, so he will be back next year. But this year, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers are without their star defensive end, Stefan Tuitt. So in replacement, they signed Walt, LT Walton. Um, and he is definitely not Stefan Tuitt, so Steelers might have something to worry about. But what does this mean for Pittsburgh? Let's get right into that. One thing it means for Stefan, for the Pittsburgh Steelers with Stefan Tuitt being out is Isaiah Bugs. Um, he will get to step in and or he will be promoted up to the next starting position with Stefan Tuitt out. Um, he has a lot of experience in 4-3 defense, and so that's great for Pittsburgh. But the thing is, will he be a sleeper or will he be a dud for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Secondly, Cam Hayward for the Pittsburgh Steelers needs to step up to replace Stefan Tuitt because he's not been sharp this year. That's my second key for Pittsburgh to keep playing well on defense. It seems like every week for Keith Butler, the Steelers' defensive corner, he does less with more. Um, going into week eight after the Steelers have a bye in week seven, they played the Miami Dolphins. Yes, it should be an easy win on paper for Pittsburgh, but Steelers do have a tendency to lose easy games or be in really close games with teams that they should be blowing out. So let's see what he can do, what Keith Butler can do without Stefan Tua being there. Maybe he, Pittsburgh will use Isaiah Bugs or something like that. And... Um, Will this spell disaster in Pittsburgh on defense, or will Pittsburgh continue getting better on defense despite losing Stefan to it? Because the last two weeks they've looked very strong, and uh, the question is for Pittsburgh at 2-4, and four, can they keep winning, or will the Pittsburgh Steelers start sliding away after the Dolphins game? Because after that, then they play the Colts. It is at home, but I know that's three weeks away, but could this spell disaster in Pittsburgh? That's a real storyline we have to look out for. And then breaking news out of New England earlier today is the Patriots suspended defensive lineman Michael Bennett for one week because he got in an argument with his positions coach and um, it was apparently detrimental to the team. So he was suspended and he will not play against the New York Jets on Monday Night Football. Um, so that is one loss, one major blow that the Patriots will not have on defense. So that's his second major defensive headline this week that um, they won't have him. Luckily, it's only one week, and luckily he will be back next week. Um, but that is a major blow, and the Jets are actually looking better. They actually got their first win last week, and they could put up a fight against New England. I'm still taking the Patriots on that one, but I think that the Jets will stick around to the fourth quarter. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly content. I'll see you all next week.